Hey everybody, today we're talking about multiplying fractions with whole numbers. Let's take a trip back in time. Do you remember when we'd have three equal groups of objects and you'd be asked to find the total number of objects? For instance here, I have three plates with five donuts. If I wanted to find the total, I could add five three times, that's repeated addition, but we also learned that we can use multiplication instead of repeated addition. Since I have three groups of five, I can add five three times, or I can multiply three by five. In either case, I'll get 15. So today, this will be similar, except we're going to work with fractions. Here I have three plates, and each plate has one half of a donut. If I wanted to know the total number of donuts, I could add one half three times, still using our friend repeated addition. And I know that that is, anyone, anyone? Three halves, correct. Now, what you're all wondering is, can I still use multiplication? Yes, yes you can. Here I have three groups of one half, so I can say this is three times one half, and I still get the same answer. But you're wondering, how? Well, we'll get to that. Let's try one more example. Here, each of my plates has three halves donuts. So, if we wanted to know the total number of donuts, we could still add three halves three times. And we know that that comes out to, anyone? Nine halves, yes, because we add the numerators and leave the denominators. So, can we use multiplication? Yes, yes we can. We have three three halves, so we can say three times three halves, and we'll still get nine halves. Now, back to the question, how does this multiplying work? Well, let's look at our two examples next to each other. In the top one, my three one halves came out to three halves. In the bottom one, my three three halves came out to nine halves. Do you see any kind of pattern here? Well, it has to do with the numerators. You'll see that our denominator stayed the same, but in our answer, the numerator is the product of our whole number and the numerator of our fraction. And some of you are wondering if these improper fractions, 3 halves and 9 halves, can be written as mixed numbers. And they can. In our first example, our 3 1 halves, if we try and put those donuts back together, you'll see we do end up with one and one half donuts. In our second example, if I try and put all my halves back together again, you'll see that we end up with four and a half donuts. So now that we understand multiplying our whole number by a fraction, some of you might be wondering, is that the same thing as if I multiply the fraction by the whole number? Well, as you may have learned, if our only operation is multiplication, we can multiply in any order and we will get the same answer. But does it represent the same donut situation? Well, in the first one, I read that as three groups of one half. So in the second one, do I read that as one half groups of three? Well, you can, but it makes more sense to me to just think of this as one half of three, kind of thinking of our multiplication sign as the word of. So is this the same donut situation? Well, one half of three is a little different. That means I started out with three, but I take one half of the three. How do I take one half of three? Well, if I break all my donuts into halves, then it'd be a little easier just to take one half of them. I'll eat the other half later. And you see that one half of three is three halves. Let's try one more example. Here, Safina made three bowls of oatmeal, and she put three fourths cup of blueberries into each bowl. We want to know the total amount of blueberries she used. So we have three bowls of oatmeal, and we're putting three fourths cups of blueberries into each bowl. So we could take that three fourths cup and add it three times, but we just learned that we can use multiplication. Here I have three groups of three fourths cup, so I can multiply three times three fourths. And do you remember our trick for multiplying? We're going to leave the denominator, but we're going to multiply our numerator with that whole number. So then we end up with, anyone, anyone? If you said nine fourths, you're correct. Safina used nine fourths cups of blueberries. Okay, now it's your turn to practice multiplying fractions with whole numbers.